So I was going to talk about, uh, I'm using some modern words here like co uh, cord cutting and letting go and so on. But I will also talk about the dark night of the soul ritual that I, since those happened to me throughout my life, so I learned uh, like a miniature way to call upon it to create a change at a certain point when you are not working, like an example, so you don't, don't get overwhelmed during your work day. So schedule it with your angels, if you say it like that, and then give it some go. But the cord cutting, I just took some examples. It's like uh, something that is very popular, especially that you have a bowl of water and thread you tie it to yourself and uh, then you wet and uh, thread and it's in the bowl of water and then you have scissors and you just cut it off as it is wet and then you take it all outside and let it drain. It is, I guess it's a visual when people are um, starting to practice visualization and so on. And here's one of my favorites. Uh, I do it like letting go, since nothing goes so quickly as they say in these modern books. So I write it on paper and then I have a water bowl on my altar. And I just, I use thin paper. I had once a paper that took over six months to dissolve, so that was longer than I wanted. So one to three months. And let's say that you water, the, see that there is water in the bowl for... Um, during all dark uh, moons, if we say it like that. And uh, it dissolves, and when it's truly dissolved, so you can pour it out on the ground, that's uh, when you feel. So it takes uh, a couple of months there, but so does all spiritual work. And uh, releasing bit by bit by burying in earth and... Um, that works very well as well, since you can focus on a bit of a huge problem and then letting go of it in different bits and then bury it and truly letting go. And then uh, you start working on the next bit in the same big problem and then you will release it. So that uh, works very well as well. And this quick uh, air and fire where you burn or uh, steam something or uh, use it, they are like a short-term fix. They can bring you instant relief for a couple of days, but uh, that is true work usually means a longer term. And uh, then we have the quick fix that you usually do, especially at work. You just wash your hands or your face and uh, then you see it drain in the regular um, under a faucet. And that you can do as often as you think, but you just put in your focus that you're washing away the problem. And um, separation from situation. I use a chessboard for that. I'm, I'm huge with uh, moving chessboards around in a strategic way and moving them around. Or if you have plenty of candles, you can have one candle representing you and one at the uh, situation that you want to move when I move them further and further away and but that usually requires that you sit up uh, during the time the candles burn and then you move them little by little but that is uh, completely up to you <coughs> and um, then we have uh, the fasting and spiritual ba baths for like bigger magical work and spiritual and that's the nine day fasting and then you anoint yourself on the last day on that with uh, oil in your forehead or crown and uh, then we had talk about the Shem, the 42 angels of the 22 and the 42 letter name, the archangels and so on and uh, I don't fast for my daily rituals with the angels, but if it's something huge that I'm really looking to let go of or change from within, then I do the nine-day fasting and preparation. And um, 
you can choose your angels here, but it's uh, or other deities. But you just since you're focusing on letting something go, and uh, it will take the whole night. So be prepared to have uh, separate different angels you want to work with. When I release something to let go, I ask an angel to step in and teach me something or fill me up with some uh, something so there isn't that void. Since when there's a void, there is, uh, that's where there might come something more troublesome instead. So I remove something, I uh, call on something to fill me up. And uh, and the uh, dark night of the soul rituals, I begin at sunset. And let's say that I do some sort of fasting for nine days. It doesn't have to be complete fasting, but let's say that you for um, only eat during night time or only eat during daytime and fast at least twelve hours a day, and. Um, and uh, no coffee or any stimulants to keep you staying awake. And uh, you can cross the circle or just sit in your sacred space. And you let your emotions and everything you that really is painful and you want to let go of, you sit in that. You really let your uh, uh, emotions drag you down. And you are surrounded by the angels. And then when you really feel the emotions build up, then you call upon the Shem angel or the archangel or whatever angel you want to connect with and talk with that. And then you sit there and just wait and let it grow. And then you might, after a couple of hours or something, you can take like... Um, a friend took a foam mattress and put it in her sacred space, so she sat on the foam mattress on the floor the whole night. And uh, then call upon some angel with healing and healing advice and just resting in that, that knowing that just letting yourself be little, be small, have failed, whatever that is, let it come out. And then the angels, the more vulnerable you are in these situations, the more they can help you. So that's why I said that also build some, call upon some angels that might teach you astrology for an example or something new that will bring you hope and focus. Since this is the beginning to start the healing progress, so you might need something that you want to focus on that will bring you joy that you wanted to learn. So that is a good thing, or spiritual teachings, or whatever it is for you. Or it can be just as simple as learn to recognize plants. You have angels for that as well, and deities, and so on. And then you can see the see or feel the sunrise and up to noon, and let the sun really fill you with that light from within your soul. Or you can feel it, you can see at the clock if you are in a space and uh, the sun is sent out and you know that the sun is up now and it let it fill your soul with a golden glow within. And, um, and for a really quick uh, refreshing when you need to shock yourself into something, I usually take off my sock and then I put my feet on some ice cubes, my bare feet. That always shocks me into remembering and grounding and being grateful for what I have. So that was just a silly suggestion, but it works. Or you can uh, what, uh, put an uh, ice cube on your wrist where it's thin as well. That works well as uh, well. It shocks your system too, so on. But I can go into more detail, but it's, these were just some ideas and what I usually do. So, and it's the time of year now and many wants to let go of things. So let me know if you want a more specific or if I just give you some hints here what you can create. Have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.